No. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another, let's call it season, of Zero Interest, where we look at a show that one of us really is not interested in whatsoever, and the other one is a fan of, and it's try and convince and by watching and forcing people to watch it because we're assholes like that and hate each other a little bit. No, we don't. A little bit. We're bros. <laughs> we're bros. That's how that works. So, Red versus Blue, season six. <clears throat> yeah. So, a little preface on this. Uh, I have watched the whole thing, start to finish, season one through 15. I haven't watched 16 yet because the Rooster Teeth side is broken. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, so I watched the whole thing. Zero has, as far as I'm aware, you've not watched a single episode prior to today. I watched. I tried to watch episode one at the very beginning, season one. At the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Ongoing problem now. That first five seasons has not aged especially well, uh, and it's kind of tricky to go back and start from the very beginning. So what this mm. season of Zero Interest is uh, intended to be is uh, very often Rooster Teeth have gone on record as saying, hey, we want uh, this to be a jumping on point for people to be able to just start here and not have to deal with the earlier stuff and can just start watching. And to my mind, the best one of those is season six. So we're going to see whether that whole argument holds water. So we're going to do... Uh, season six, possibly seven and eight would depends on how long this actually takes to do. Um, and we're going to do episodes in pairs, so it's one and two for this episode uh, mm -hmm. that we're going to be reviewing. So <laughs> take it away, zero or try, because. Hmm. So we start, and it's like, oh hey, I remembering all these Halo Machinima videos I used to watch. Way back in the day. Oh, you watched other ones? No wonder you didn't want to watch Red vs. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. There were other ones I watched, yeah. There were other um, ones, and they were all trying to be Red vs. Blue. <laughs> yeah. And none of them they... did a good job. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, <laughs> we're introduced to Big Shot of... I can't remember the map, but it's like, yay, I like this map. That's it has all these soldiers. It's like, oh, uh -huh. you're under review. There's, there's a voice by a guy saying you're all under review for something or other. I don't know why exactly. Yes. Uh, Project Freelancer is under review because some shady shit has gone down and they're trying to figure out what happened. Okay, that. Uh, we have our first red character walk in and he talks to black guy on screen and he's like so we found this cargo ship and there was a thing inside but like we didn't get the thing the blue guys got the thing and now the blue guys are dead and now that thing is out there yeah and pretty much they got the thing and they all kind of went a little insane destroyed their own comm tower and then they destroyed ours so cut off communications uh and then it came to us there was an infection and came to us. And, and, and so Lieutenant General Sergeant Screen Man is like, let, let the men in the nice white armor take you away. Hmm. And then we get to meet Yeah, he never comes Sir back Wash again, by the way. Yeah. We get to meet uh, Mr. George Washington hmm. riding Washington, up in yes. his gray armor being like, I need to find revenge for my waifu. Was my no. understanding. Nope. Uh, he got shot in the back on a mission and mm -hmm. kind of wants to get back at the person that did that. Yeah. yeah. Like I say, this was a huge info dump to just drop on us. Hey, this is going to be the jumping on point. In fairness. You're talking about like the new meta, and I'm like, what? In Are fairness, talking... a lot of the stuff in this episode, because Zero won't know this is new to everyone when they first watch it. They didn't just... These are all new characters. Uh, none of this stuff... It only tangentially has anything to do with the first five seasons, so... They're talking about, oh, the meta's doing this. And it's like, what's the meta? Oh, it's clearly the... 
<laughs> it's clearly the SDIs. Um, but all this new tech for Halo, God, do the new meta. Um, go investigate, Mr. Washington man. Hmm. Figure out what's up. There's some experts you can find. But experts is really not the word for them. Because they kind of suck. Mm. Basically, yeah. Experts Mr. is a Washington. little too complimentary. Is the word he Washington, uses. get into your old armor. And he's like, oh. oh." Because there's no Blood Belch that... map on Halo 3. So they had to use the Halo 2 skins. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah, they... That, that's not Halo 3. Um, so... That's where the episode ends off for the first one. Mm. Honestly, I don't know what to think from the first episode alone. It it's, was a big info very, dump. It's very dry. It doesn't really explain a lot of stuff that you need to know, but it does get there. Yeah. Uh, main thing you need to take I, away is there are AI, and Washington is all about hunting them down because that's his job. Which yay. kind of gloss over, but that was the main thrust of it. Okay. Second episode starts, and he goes to investigate a base, but it's it's ha- inhabited by a crazy yellow person hmm. who's yelling about raves and parties, and he's just like, "Uh, you're holding raves in a in a government base," and she's like, "Yeah!" Charged like five bucks his head. I got ten bucks last time. Considering that there's only like two other people in the valley, I think I know who the where that ten bucks came from. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so he's like, "You're a cop, you're trying to stop me. You're a cop." He's like, "We're not a cop," because yeah, you have to answer if you're a cop. That, that's like a law. It's like I don't think that, that that's not a law. How, also, how would you I'm know that unless you're a cop? Yeah, he's just like. Yeah. I can feel my lifespan shrinking talking to you and just walks away. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Looking for sanity. Bye. Let's leave the blue base, head over to the red base, and we get pop ups. Yeah. These are characters we'll meet later, but this is Sarge, the red guy's interpretation of them. Hmm. And. I remember. I know. I remember one part. It was like, "Son, I'm stupid and ugly and bad." Yeah. But <laughs> and then the final pop up, and it turns out to actually be the guy, mm. Sarge. That was that was funny. That actually got me. Yeah. That's um. A <laughs> so Sarge and Lopez out here won't stop until there's not a single blue left in the valley. Mm-hmm. And there is one blue left in the valley. Although that blue is yellow. A joke, that, a joke that won't come up is she was originally sent to the red team. Uh, and she's colorblind. That's why she's in yellow armor, which is between red and blue. <laughs> so she <laughs> can't actually tell which side is which most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and... Sarge is like, oh, yeah, you can go find uh, Caboose or whatever. Yeah, He's cause probably your guy. Because uh, Washington is looking for uh, someone that knows about AI, and Sarge says, oh, yeah, Caboose was like infected by one of those ones, so you probably want to talk to him. Yeah. Uh, Lopez will give you the details, although that's probably all in Spanish. And he's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, that's that's it for the episode. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so, what are your thoughts, Zero? I, I think the two-episode thing gave a much better introduction to the show than yeah. just the one. Because the one was really dry. Washington's the straight man to basically what I'm presuming is the last five seasons. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's fun. The first episode was really just dry, though. Like, 
I, I don't expect it'll be like that in the future, but the second episode is, is kind of funny. Not, nothing really had me laughing out loud, but like Light I was up. smiling through it. That fucking pop-up thing with Sarge, was, that absolutely got you. See, this is why it's good that we're, list- that we're watching at the same time while on mic. A little bit. Like, I, I did, I would just, it was a little snicker. It wasn't really, like, laughing out loud, but. Mm. Yeah, I, it's funny. It's it's well written in terms of its comedy, at least. <clears throat> I can appreciate that. Alright. Uh, so, any other thoughts? Like, anything? Um. So far, I, I don't say I have a, a definite interest at all in this show, but uh, I am interested to see where it goes. That's kind of contradictory, I've, but sure. Like, it's it's more like, because we're watching this show, like, I'm going to be watching, like, because we're doing this, this, like, zero interest thing, mm-hmm. I'm going to be watching it, so that's kind of interesting, but if we weren't doing this, I probably wouldn't continue watching. Fair enough. Okay, so that's episode yeah. one, I guess. Unless you've got anything else. No? Uh, episodes one and two. Um, all I really know about the series, aside from the one episode I saw, was like some clips of some crazy action <laughs> with Montium. Yeah, that happens in season eight. So, that's yeah. two seasons that's, away that's, from this. That's literally all I know. Hmm. Um as well as there being some music in it later on that's pretty good. That would be... Because Montio... That would also start in Season 8, naturally, now I think about it, yeah. And, and that whole Ruby team. Yeah. Um, Pre-Ruby. So, we'll see where it goes. Yep. All right. So, bye, everybody. We'll be back with bye. another one. <laughs>